we are unboxing the Elo Hue alcohol based markers. They come with brush nibs and chisel nibs and we've used the Ohu markers and the Copic markers in previous videos. So today we're just seeing what this new one on the market is like, if I like it or not. Obviously it goes Copic and then Ohu for my personal preferences. I don't mind Ohu. Um, it's obviously cheaper, it's more accessible, lower barrier to entry, and they work just fine. Uh, but they only recently started adding brush nibs, so for them to start out with a brush nib, that's great. So let's see what we get inside. Mm. Oh, fancy handle. Ooh, that is a very nice case, a very nice hard carrying case. Uh, so that is a plus for me because Copics don't come in good cases that are usable and functional. Uh, who does, but they're soft body cases and this is very structured. Very strong Velcro and it looks like we get a nice variety of colors. We've got dark grays, warm grays, we've got a couple skin tones, a nice selections of pinks, reds, and purples, which usually we don't have or they're all very similar. So hopefully as I swatch those, they are true to the cap. And then I don't know if it looks the same on your computer, but these look the same. Those two blues look exactly the same to me. <laughs> yeah, so let's get to swatching. So for for this, I obviously, I bought the ELO sketchbook because their markers should work well on another product that they sell. So that's why I bought this again, even though I do think and have stated before that this is overrated. They list this as being perfect for social media and being square, but it's a gimmick and it's fine. It's, it's you know, it's fun for a sketchbook, but it is not the best paper or it's $16 for this 8x8 and I believe it's something like 58 pages or something. I'm not sure, but I don't think it's worth the money. Um, yeah. I will swatch and write the number of the color. Um, probably not the full name, but um, let's get started. Yes. The barrel is interesting. Um, it's square, and I honestly thought I would hate that. Um, but it is it is actually a non-issue, I think. I think it's fine. I like those tones of gray. I think those are very versatile. And that first color is a very good base skin tone. So that, just checking all my boxes. I'm, I'm pretty pleased so far. Um, I'm going to have to look at how much these cost me, which I'll put the price on the bottom left corner of the screen. Ooh, now that is a bright yellow. I'm not difficult to please though when it comes to art supplies. It just has to work out of the box. Ooh, that is a nice little deep yellow honey color. I would say that's also a good skin tone. Um, and I would say it pretty, it pretty closely matches that cap on that one. I also will say about this carrying case, it has actual slots for the pens, so they go back in their spot and things don't get mixed up. If you put it back right the way you found it, it's awesome. Ooh, that is a very warm, I like that. It's kind of close to the 35, but just like a little deeper through this. Ooh, that is creamy, creamy, juicy. Do, 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 do. Oh, that's a nice, not super thick brown. It's definitely like a pumpkin orange. All right, we're about halfway here, guys. Now, these two are the ones I think are the same. <laughs> I honestly don't see a difference here. 71, 74. See, I just think these are way too close. They're 
like this one's obviously darker but only a little bit like not enough for me to care I would rather just have this lighter one because I could build it up with a different color and have a different marker in here and not have two that are so close together red now 73 is a purple but 74 is a blue I'm just going to start doing single lines because this is taking a little bit longer than I had originally planned. 12. Again, way too close for most people to notice a difference. And um, even though this one is a little bit lighter, a little bit pinker, I would just rather have this red in a different color. I guess that's a hybrid of these two, and if I had to pick, I'd rather have the 9 and 17 and a different 6, but I'm just speaking in terms of markers that I personally would use. Not in love with that one because it's so light. C, G, 1, and finally, Cool Gray 7. I know this isn't super organized, and maybe for some of you it's driving you a little bit nuts, but for me, I don't really care. This is just a test page, uh, gotta say. Fully in love with that case. Uh, whoever designed it, good, good on you. I, I really like it. Um, this is obviously not the best paper for markers, and it bled through in the previous videos when I used both alcohol ink and water ink. Um, Copics and Ohuhu's bled through this paper. Um, but if Ohuhu is marketing the sketchbook fair and square alcohol-based markers for this sketchbook and this is their main pull and their biggest selling product, uh, it should not bleed through as bad. And it did about the same. Um, I would say that's, that's pretty, that bled through about the same as any other marker. And that was just one swipe of the markers. Um, I believe in the other video I had to do a couple or a deeper pocket or a deeper square of colors for it to bleed through like this. So on the one hand, it's, um, you know, they're bright, they're vibrant, they go down easy, they're juicy, they come in a good variety. Um, all of these different shades would work very well together. And I do like them. I don't know if there's something I would use in this ELO sketchbook because it bleeds through. However, it's still a fun sketchbook and it's very well made. Um, I just don't know that I would use it for markers since it is $17 for 58 pages and the markers just bleed right through. Um, obviously my preferred one is a Canson doesn't necessarily bleed through that much unless you're really laying down the ink. Um, I gotta say this, this is like fucking, this is great. I love this package so much. Velcro is really nice. It goes all the way across the lip. So it's real secure. You can like really pull on that and your markers aren't gonna fall out. You could mix and match Ohu's, Copics, and these in this square. Like, uh, they are definitely big enough spaces in there. So you could custom fill this with your preferred colors if you were traveling around or taking these with you somewhere, like on vacation or to work or on the bus, on the train, whatever. Uh, so this case is, I, is really, I, I really like it. I don't have anything bad to say about it. Um, the barrel of these are square and they actually feel really nice in your hand. It's definitely, um, a different shape than what most of us are used to, especially if we are, um, Copic users, cause they have the rounds, the barrels and the squares, but, um, I really like this square shape actually it feels really nice in my hands um the colors match the caps the coloring system or the ordering system doesn't seem too different from copic um yeah i i think i think this was well worth my money i i recommend these markers their sketchbook don't use it with the markers just sketch in it that's it. That's all I would say about this. And this is a novelty sketchbook. It's not, you know, if you're pumping out sketchbooks or you're trying to practice one thing and just really work on that thing to get better, just buy the cheap sketchbooks and bust through those pages. Um, this, this is, this is a gimmick and it's really, you know, it's fine. There's nothing wrong with it. 
I just really don't think it's worth the money. Copics are a higher price point. The Ohuu are cheaper or similar price to this, and they come in different sizes and different palettes and different everything, um, and they seem to last about the same. I have had my pack of Ohuu for about a year, and they're still good. None of them really have dried up, um, so this will, we'll see how many of these dry up over time. And um, yeah, I think both Ohu and Elo are good barriers to entry, low commitment, low cost, and they work pretty great. So do with that what you will and uh, have a good week.